do a real test here. Hey Google, turn on the Xbox. That is amazing. That is amazing. Oh look, there's little multimedia controls on the display. Ah, oh, thank God it is Friday. Apparently, Xbox One has finally partnered with Google. And you can set up your Xbox One with your Google Assistant. Now, I kind of knew this a couple of days ago. And the only reason was, I'm just saying this to say this. Me and my girlfriend were watching uh, TV. And I had just got off a video game and I had my headset on. Basically what happened was, I had my headset on, it was plugged into my Xbox controller. And I said the keyword of, hey, and when I said that, it popped up in the top right of the screen like it was listening. And I was like, whoa, what the heck? I tried to repeat it, I could not make it happen again. It was like a, a glitch that happened because my mic was right by my mouth, it was plugged into the headphone jack, and I set it, and it just registered, which I thought was very weird. Yesterday I saw a news article that Google Assistant had finally came to the Xbox One, so today I'm gonna show you how to join the beta, set that up, and what it actually does for you. I wanna see if it works like it does on my, my Chromecast, because my Chromecast to play ESPN on the Master Bedroom TV, and it literally goes to YouTube TV, plays ESPN on my Master Bedroom TV. So I wanna see if the Google Assistant with Xbox will do that. Into the instructions again, let me, let me look at that real quick. I'd have to say before we get to going too far, I gotta ask everybody to like and subscribe earlier. I've noticed that every YouTuber I watch, they end up asking like within the first minute or two. So I'm gonna ask now to give this video a like and click that subscribe button down there so that you can see the other videos that we're doing. So uh, now let's get up here and, and set this up. So from the instructions here that I found on Google's website, uh, I just have to join this group. So I'm gonna click join group. Uh, I'm gonna link my profile to join this group. And then I should be able to, uh, according to this, sign into my Xbox and then go into my Google Home app to set up the assistant. So let's see if this works. Uh, all right, so now my Xbox is on. I am signed into my account. Let's see what we get. All right, so we're gonna go into our Google Home app. Once we're in our Google Home app here, we're gonna click Add. Then we're going to click Set Up Device, and then and then have something already set up. And then in here, there it is, Beta Xbox. So we will select the Xbox. It wants me to sign in with my account. Cool. Signing in. Yes, allow. Linking. There we go. You've got mail. Got mail. Uh, so let's see, is it at the bottom of my... It is, look at this. So there's the Xbox One. I'm going to just name it Xbox. That way I don't have to say Xbox One X. And we want this device in the living room. All right, name is Xbox, it's in the living room. So now I should see it in my living room group here, right there, sweet. All right, let's go downstairs and give this a try. And I'm pretty certain once they uh, fully release this, instead of it saying beta Xbox, it would just say Xbox as an already set device. Thinking though, I'm not positive. All right, so I'm back downstairs. My Xbox is still on, I have not turned it off. So I'm gonna say, hey, go turn off the Xbox. It you did it. Turn it off Xbox. All right, so now let's give it a real test here. Hey, Google, turn on the Xbox. That is amazing. That is amazing. Oh, look, there's little multimedia controls on the display. 
on, off, play, stop, pause. That is pretty sweet. Didn't realize that would be there. So um, now let me try a command that I did not see in the list. Hey Google, play ESPN on YouTube TV on the Xbox. Oh, so since the Xbox is not considered a cast-enabled TV, it'll not allow that. Hey, Google, launch YouTube TV on the Xbox. So it should bring it up over here. Sure, launching YouTube TV on Xbox. Nice, nice. I can dig that. That's better than nothing. I wish I could pick the channel, but I can at least get it there. <laughs> but I think I can say... Hey Google, play Gears 5 on Xbox. Look at that. That is beautiful. And you even notice there's a uh, assistant reader in the top. Let me try that again. Hey Google, play Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on the Xbox. See? It popped up real quick, starting call. That is, that's amazing. It works, though. It really works. And then I got some kind of execution error, but I don't think it was. It, it worked. It launched my game. <laughs> I actually just realized when I tell Google to turn off everything, it will now include the TV. That's, uh, that's pretty dope. Well, there we go. That is, that's how you add your Xbox One to your Google Assistant. Now, as, uh, as you saw in this video, this is currently just a beta, technically. Um, and as I mentioned, I feel when you go to do this at a later time, you, it'll just say Xbox instead of beta Xbox. But that's how you do it. Then you can, you can turn the volume up and down. You can launch games. You can turn the system on and off. Um, I don't know how much I'll really use this. Don't know how helpful it'll be. But if I could, if it was considered a Chromecast enabled device, that would be awesome because then I could just tell it to turn on my Xbox, tell it to play ESPN, and boom, it would just play ESPN for me. But uh, being able to tell it to play video games for me is pretty sweet. It'll really come in handy because it'll come in handy because if I'm busy doing something, there's many times that I've been busy doing something and I've wanted to load a game, but instead I'm like, you know, washing dishes or whatever, and then I have to come and turn on the Xbox and wait on it to load. So by having this, I'll be able to tell Google to turn on the Xbox and tell it which game to launch, and then by the time I get done with my dishes and I walk in here, it's ready to go. So I really like this. I'm glad that they did it. They did Alexa a couple months ago, and I was hoping they were gonna do Google, and when I saw that little mistake, when I had said, hey, good day, and it popped up, I said, they've gotta be doing something, and that was literally, like, a week ago that I said that to my girlfriend. I think that's going to do it for today's video though. Hope that you enjoy using your Google Assistant with your Xbox and uh, I think we're going to get out of here. So I hope that everyone's having a good day and if you can for me click that like button and click subscribe down in the corner and we will see you in the next video. Deuces. I'm guessing the guy with the Ketchum tag on his Corvette is not a Pokemon fan. Maybe it has to do with racing or fishing. If it is Pokemon, though, thumbs up to you.